So how do we actually find the acceleration of an object that is sliding down an incline if we have a friction force that we have to deal with? So in my last video, I showed you how to come up with the components of the gravitational force. And what we learned there is that our, our X component of the gravitational force points in the opposite direction of the friction force. So that X component of gravity points down the slope, friction points up the slope. So that's where we're going to get our expression for net force from, okay? So net force, we're looking at like our forces and components of force that lie along the X axis. So for net force there, we can write that as our X component of gravitational force. So M G sine of our angle that uh, the surface makes with the, the horizontal minus our friction force. But here's how we're going to get an expression also for friction. Because if you remember, friction comes from multiplying the coefficient of friction times the normal force. But how do we come up with normal force? So we know here, based on this new like kind of tilted axis situation that we have going on, that our normal force points in the opposite direction of our y component of gravity. And so we also have an expression for the y component of gravity, which is mg times the cosine of, again, that angle that our ramp makes with the horizontal. And so if we find the y component of our gravitational force, we also know what our normal force is. So putting that all together here to calculate acceleration for something on an incline where we have friction, we're going to take our mg sine theta minus our expression for friction, which would be our coefficient of friction times mg cosine theta, and we're going to divide that by the mass. So notice here that the mass also cancels, and um, so we don't really have to worry about that. So that also too, if you come up, if you come upon a conceptual question where it's like, oh, if you have like this object of this mass or an object of a different mass, like which is going to reach the bottom of the ramp, they would reach at the same time because the mass itself has no effect generally on the acceleration in this case. All right. So if you have a ramp, you have a friction force and you want to find acceleration, that's how you're going to do it. You're going to come up with an expression for your normal force for your friction force and for your components of gravity so that you're subtracting or you're going to do um, your X component of gravity minus your friction force divided by your mass.